and we went through the first couple of houses in the city that we renovated and we saw the challenges that we um, weren't aware of firsthand with what first time home buyers in um, you know lower socioeconomic areas are facing and it's a very it's a very eye opening experience Hi, Keith and Evan. Thank you so much for speaking with Pop Culture today. How are you? Doing good. Doing Thank very you. Good. Thank you for having us. Of course. So congratulations on Bargain Block. There's nothing better for me than watching home renovation shows, especially, you know, HTV really gets my mind going. HGTV gets my mind going. And I love that the, that the show was set in Detroit. Um, it's actually one of my favorite cities. It has so much rich history. You know, at one point it was booming with General Motors. Well, General mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> and Motown. And the city has faced a lot of challenges, obviously, in recent years in terms of real estate. So why is the restoration of Detroit so important to you guys? I think it was one of those things where you get into um, working in a place and you fall in love. And I think that's kind of what happened. We went through the first couple of houses in the city that we renovated and we saw the challenges that we um, weren't aware of firsthand with what first time home buyers in, um, you know, lower socioeconomic areas are facing. And it's a very, it's a very eye opening experience when you see um, people that want a house and can really afford a house, but the struggle to get to first time home ownership is a challenge. Um, but Detroit offers a lot of things that make it possible to do affordable first time Mm -hmm. homes and kind of style them up. And I think yeah. that's why we love working there so much. Now you guys are really up against some tough competition with shows like, you know, married to real estate and unsellable houses and fixer to fabulous during, you know, you guys' season. What do you feel like set you guys apart from the rest and what some might consider an oversaturated market? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't really, I don't really think of it as competing against them. I mean, I'd think, our show offers, I mean, a little bit different take in the fact that we do, you know, multi we oftentimes do multiple houses per episode. Um, we focus on first time home buyers. We keep things um, at a lower budget. So I think um, I think the people who are fans of Bargain Block are fans because it seems attainable to them and um, they can just relate to, um, you know, maybe not having a half a million dollars. I like the creative elements of it, too. I think that has been really impressive to me to see how many people have responded to seeing the creative elements that go into the show and some of the behind the scenes things on the furniture and the art. Um, it's just fun to share that with an audience. What are some of your favorite types of home renov renovations that you do that really tug at your heart? I love finding historic elements in a house, even some of the smaller houses. They were built back in the 20s and 30s, and Detroit really was at its peak at that time. And so even the smaller houses have beautiful detail. There's a lot of cove ceilings. The trim work is nice. Mm -hmm. If you come across a fireplace, oftentimes they'll have beautiful original tile. Mm -hmm. So I get very emotionally connected to some of those elements of the houses that somebody at some point put a lot of love and a lot of time into you know, whatever element it is. And I think it's good that we try to preserve that. I think it's, you know, it's worth the effort to mm -hmm. kind of save it. Not all of the houses are Not able to save much because some of them are so dilapidated that you just kind of have to start from, from, from the ground up. So when we can find a historical element that we really like and we're able to save, we always do. Yeah. And you guys were also on Rock the Block, which was a competition series. So what was that experience like? Um, in comparison to working on you guys' show? What did you love and what did you feel like you could have kept where it was? They are completely opposite shows. I mean, you have our show, which is kind of just Keith and I and our small group of contractors just kind of like chugging away, chugging away yeah. for a long period of time on lots of houses. And then you have Rock the Block, which is hyper-focused, six weeks, one house, big, big budget, lots of crew. Um, so it's a totally different experience. It was super fun for us. Um, it was like a nice break and just a change of pace to be able to have a really large budget and lots of help. And um, and then, of course, to meet the HGTV host was was super fun. We're friends with all of them now. Um, so, yeah, it was just like totally different, but very fun. 
one of the things that I'm really interested in in talking to you guys about is that there's so much conversation going on right now regarding the home buying market in today's economy. Obviously, inflation is crazy. Um, what are you guys' suggestions for potential home buyers and those who are embarking on major renovation projects? What tips are, do you have for keeping the cost down as well as keeping the stress down? Keeping the cost and stress down are very tricky, but I will say there's things that you can do to kind of mitigate some of those things. I will say from a contractor standpoint and, and labor standpoint, constant contact is going to keep you in much better shape. And on budget side, it's really easy to find um, deep discounts at places like Restore, which is Habitat for Humanities, um, Thrift Store, every major metropolitan area has that. Tile is great there. Mm. There's a lot of things, if you hunt around a little bit, you can really mm. cut down prices, um, yeah. windows, doors, mm. all the things that kind of go into a house, they really, yeah. there's a lot of ways you can save in places like that. Thrifting is obviously very near and dear to my heart. Uh -huh. So anytime we can layer that in, just as good. Yeah, I would say probably maybe um, a third of the tile that we use for yeah. bargain block was thrifted tile. Yeah. Um, and usually it's actually nicer tile than what we well, would have bought because yeah. we wouldn't have had the budget to buy as nice of a tile. So you can kind of luck out and find some really nice stuff yeah. um, for, for cheap. We just found this gorgeous pink marble mm -hmm. that was... I mean, it, we paid like $28. It was from Italy. So if yeah. we were to actually buy that, I'm sure we'd be spending a, definitely a lot more, more than, uh, than just a hundred bucks. And how are you guys balancing, you know, work and love and being as though you guys' work and relationship is so intertwined? <laughs> it's amazing it how many people ask that. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I, we don't, I don't think about it a lot, you know, like we just, we're always working and we mm -hmm. amazingly, we have the same goal at the end of the day, but we have very different paths to get there. And I think the key to the success of working with your partner, I think is finding balance and finding respect. And um, mm -hmm. also, you know, a, a little humor goes a long way. So yeah. I think that's the key that we found that works for us is balance. Mm -hmm. Stay in your lane. I don't try to step on his toes a lot. He does always try to step on my toes <laughs> in design, but that's okay. <laughs> I pretty much let him do things. I might make suggestions, but strong <laughs> suggestions, but that's, you know, that's what we found works for us. And what other projects do you guys have working? Do you guys have that are currently in the works? So we're finishing up, still finishing up season two of bargain block. We're almost finished, but um, we're working on a lot of kind of, I don't know, fun and exciting projects that go back a little bit to the creative. We're going to have a bit of a break for TV. So we're pushing into the art and we've got some really exciting tiny house builds that we're doing. So we just are really enjoying the creative elements at this point. Well, it was a pleasure speaking with you both. I can't wait to, you know, see how the rest of the season unfolds. I love you guys' work. Thank and you. Congratulations on everything again.